नमो विष्णुपदय कृष्ण पृष्ठय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नमस्ते सरस्वत देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणी विशेष शून्यवादी आशत देश जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवाशादीगर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राधा गिरधारी राधा गिरधारी राम जय राधा गिरधारी राधा गिरधारी राय राधा मदन मोहन राधा मदन मोहन राय राधा मदन मोहन राधा मदन मोहन जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ जय बलदेवा जय सुभद्रा जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ जय बलदेवा जय सुभद्रा जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पथ गामी नयन पथ गामी भव जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पथ गामी नयन पथ गामी भव तुम जय जय गुरुदेव 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 जय 
सहगना रघुनाथान्वितां तम सजीव साधवैत सवधूत पर्यना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादान सहगना ललिता श्री विशाखान्विता नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नाम नमस्ते सारस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात देश तारिणे श्री कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांता नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछाकलतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण वेलकम एवरी वन इन भगवद गीता क्लास थैंक यू ऑल एवरी वन ज्वाइनिंग सो लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टिल फाइव पॉइंट थर्टीन सो टूडे विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फाइव पॉइंट फोर्टीन सो वी हैव सीन सो फार थर्टीन स्लोकास फ्रॉम चैप्टर थ्री ओके सो इन थर्टीन स्लोकास वी हैव सीन दैट इज कर्म योगा एक्शन इन कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस चैप्टर नंबर एंड वर्स नंबर थर्टीन सो चैप्टर नंबर थर्टी वर्स नंबर थर्टीन से दैट सोल रिसाइड्स हैप्पली इन सिटी ऑफ नाइन गेट्स नव द्वारे पूरे दे वेन ही कंट्रोल हिज नेचर and mentally renounces all actions okay soul resides happily in the city of nine gates okay so cause of a soul suffering owing to the forgetfulness of his superior nature and identifying with the material nature when soul forgets when soul forgets lord supreme lord krishna soul forgets his real identity soul forgets the absolute personality of godhead soul forgets that who is the supreme proprietor soul forgets that lord krishna is the only supreme personality of godhead so this, this all happens because of ignorance because of two attachment to material nature and jivatma thinks that i am doing all these activity actually material nature is active all these activities are done by material nature and if you perform any activity belonging to material nature it has got three modes of material nature it has got three modes so your activity may belong to goodness your activity may belong to passion or your activity may belong to ignorance that is you cannot control you are performing any activity it will belong to three modes of material nature that is satoguna rajoguna and tamoguna goodness passion and ignorance okay so what is the cause of soul suffering owing to the forgetfulness of his superior nature and identifying with the material nature so when we forget that krishna is the supreme personality of godhead that is the root cause of suffering in this material world and this soul is placed in body this 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 in this body this body is cover for soul okay and we say that this body consist of nine gates what are the nine gates two eyes two ears two nostrils one mouth 
genitals and anus. These are the nine gates. Navadware pure dehi. Soul placed in the city of nine gates. So in figure you can see that these are the symbols uh, the where actually soul resides. The soul has a choice although subjecting oneself to the conditions of the body. One can be beyond those conditions if he so desires. Soul has option. Soul can be placed in the body but it can be independent out of this body okay by remembering lord krishna so although you are living in material nature you are living in this material world you are performing all the activities belonging to material nature but if you remember the superior nature you can by living in this material world also you can be liberated Okay, so what is the what happens by process of Krishna consciousness? Revive one's original position. If you if you remember Krishna by remembering Lord Krishna only by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamant only by knowing the knowledge about Supreme Lord Krishna, the knowledge about absolute truth, you can revive your original position. And for that purpose only we have got this life and human form of life is very very rare so once you have got human form that you are lucky you can work for the liberation you can work for krishna consciousness you can serve devotees you can associate with devotees you can krish you can hear krishna katha okay so and comes out of the embodiment so Krishna consciousness comes out of the Krishna consciousness comes out of the embodiment. One becomes complete aloof from body activities. If you perform Krishna consciousness, you can be aloof from the bodily activities. So in just such a controlled life, one deliberation are changed and he lives happily within the city of nine kings. So if you perform Krishna consciousness, if you can revive your original position, if you can come out of the embodiment, in such a controlled life, you can live happily in the city of nine gates. And it is given and solution to the soul suffering is given in Svetas Vatar Upanishad 3.18. When the living entity identifies with the Lord within himself, he becomes just as free as the Lord, even while in the body. If you remember Lord, if you revive Krishna consciousness, while living in this body, also you will feel that you are not in this body. You will feel like independent, like God, like Supreme Lord Krishna. Supreme Lord Krishna is independent. Although he has created, he is living in, all, in this material world also, but he is aloof from this material world. Material world, material activities, Prakriti cannot touch Lord Krishna. So Lord Krishna, although he has created everything, but he is independent from all these things. Similarly, if you remember Krishna, if you revive or your original position, if you work for Krishna consciousness, even you are even while you are living in this body, you can be independent, similar to Lord Krishna. Okay, you can happy, you can live a happy life while living in this nine gates, city of nine gates. Okay. Therefore, a Krishna conscious person is free from both the outer and inner activities of the material body. So, if you are a Krishna consciousness person, you are free from inner and outer of the activities of the body. Okay, this was discussed in uh, 5.13. Now we will see 5.14. Role of modes of material nature. What is the role of modes of material nature? Verse number 14. Living entity does not create activities, nor induces people to act, nor creates fruits of action all enacted by modes of material nature okay so here uh, uh, lord krishna is telling the role of material nature in this material world 
5.14 ना करते तम न कर्माणी लोकस्य सृजत प्रभु ना कर्म फल संयोगम स्वभावस्तु प्रवर्तते the embodied spirit master of the city of his body does not create activities nor does he induce people to act nor does he create the fruit of action all this is enacted by modes of material nature so lord krishna is saying oh arjuna those who are working in this material world in material nature they are not doing anything they are not creating activities they are not doing activities they are not the cause of fruits of action all this is enacted by three modes of material nature okay so na kartitvam na karmani lokasya srijati prabhu na karma phal sanyogam swabhavastu pravartate so all these is enacted by material nature you can see in the figure that how material nature is handling so whatever activity you are performing it belongs to three modes of material nature there is no doubt lord krishna is saying so confidently he is instructing he is giving a instruction he is giving a divine instruction to arjuna oh arjuna whatever activity you are performing you are not the cause of this activity you are not the cause of fruits of action all this is enacted by three modes of material nature so you are like a katputli you are like a katputli everything is handled by three modes of material nature what are the three modes of material nature satogun rajogun and tamogun goodness passion and ignorance so lord krishna is saying what are the energies of lord what are the energies of lord so it is given in superior nature and material nature it is given in 7.5 apareyam itastva anyam prakritim vidhi me param jeeva bhutam mahabaho yayedam dharyate jagat so besides this o oh mighty am arjuna there is another superior energy of mind which comprises the living act entities who are exploiting the resources of this material nature inferior nature material nature is inferior nature and lord krishna's nature is superior nature so lord krishna is saying there is besides from this material nature there is one superior nature material nature is inferior nature so all these are controlled by me okay so these are the energies of material nature uh, lord krishna lord krishna energy are material, superior nature and material nature superior energy jeevas inferior energy matter okay so jeeva jeevas nature is known as superior energy energy and inferior energy belongs to matter belongs to material nature it belongs to prakriti belongs to the material world superior energy belongs to the supreme super soul supreme person okay and what are the causes of suffering soul in contact with material nature since time immemorial okay if you are living since time immemorial in any world whether you are in a spiritual world or in material world you will get attached to that you will get attached to that and it is very difficult to come out of this so only krishna consciousness only by krishna consciousness you can try to come out of this kind of suffering okay so only krishna consciousness only devotional service can help you to come out of this material world you can live in this material world but by the krishna process of krishna consciousness you can be independent while living in this city of nine gates navadware pure dei okay so soul in contact with material nature since time immemorial so temporary body is cause of variety of activities and resultant reactions okay so this bodily activities 
आर वेरी वेरी बैड वेन वी परफॉर्म एनी थिंग वी एक्सपेक्ट रिजल्ट वी डोंट थिंक दैट ऑल दिस थिंग गिवेन बाय सुपेरियर नेचर ऑल दिस बिलोंग्स टू सुपेरियर नेचर ऑल दिस बिलोंग्स टू लॉर्ड कृष्णा आई एम द इंस्ट्रूमेंट आई एम फॉलोइंग द ऑर्डर ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा Lord Krishna has assigned me this task to perform. So my duty is to perform the task. Okay, we should not think more than that. We should not get attached to the fruits of action. Okay, so in ignorance, one identifies with the activities of body and suffers the result. Okay, in ignorance, what happens? You get attached to the fruits of action. I am doing. I am the owner. i am the enjoyer of the result so this is the thinking in ignorance in ignorance means when you are attached to material world if you, when you are attached to material world ignorance will destroy your life you will ignore everything i am the doer i am the performer i am the enjoyer i am the enjoyer this is wrong attitude krishna lord krishna supreme personality of god it lord krishna is the supreme enjoyer is the supreme controller is the supreme proprietor so he possesses all the five opulences that should be right understanding and that understanding can be achieved only by krishna consciousness only by devotional service only by serving spiritual master only by associating with devotees only by hearing krishna katha only by chanting hare krishna maha mantra only by following four regulation rules what are the four regulation rules be away from illicit sex no intoxication no meat eating no gambling these are the four regulations rules that you have to follow and chant hari krishna maha mantra 16 rounds every day you have to chant every second every moment but at least in the morning 5 o'clock after taking bath and performing the worship performing the service uh to the devotee uh, deity after just sit for one hour and do chanting prabhupad used to say that chant hari krishna maha mantra and be happy hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare okay so what is the solution for this cause of suffering best process to get out of the water is by transcendental krishna consciousness so this is a this is the ocean where if you don't know how to swim you will be sink you will be destroyed so only krishna consciousness is a boat using which or riding on which you can cross this material ocean this material ocean is very very dangerous once you get attached to this material world this material activity it is very difficult to come out of this so only krishna consciousness only by devotional service you can come out of this living entity is not the master living entity is not the master living entity is like a tuch is very minute so minute means what minute means we are the uh, we are all part and parcel of the whole minute is the part of whole and whole is super soul and whole is super soul is lord krishna and our soul is very very minute so soul is part and parcel of super soul so he is neither the proprietor nor the controller of the actions and reactions of the body living entity is not the master lord krishna is saying living entity is not the master 
he is neither controller he is neither controller he is nor proprietor as long as he is in the city of body he appears to be master of it so when you have this body may be very handsome may be very fair may be very dark may be very healthy may be so many qualities if you possess you don't think that you are the master of this body all the uh, beauty krishna is the most beautiful krishna is the more energetic krishna is the more powerful krishna is the supreme proprietor krishna is the supreme controller so he possesses all the five opulences he is most famous he is the wealthiest person so everything belongs to krishna all the five opulences belongs to krishna then how a living entity can be a master master means what possessor of everything possessor of so and so property possessor of so and so wealth gold money ornament whatever but lord krishna is the supreme proprietor so how you can be a master everything belongs to krishna okay so living entity is not the master one analogy analogy is given waves of material ocean are simply tossing him in the struggle for existence so if you are swimming swimming in the ocean waves of ocean are like tossing you up and down anything can happen at in any time so only by the boat of krishna consciousness you can come out of this ocean how great however great uh, swimmer you are if you are not a krishna if you are not taking the help of krishna consciousness boat you cannot cross the material ocean very very dangerous if you are thrown into the middle of the ocean and you are asked to just cross this ocean such a great ocean no, has no end no beginning how can you cross the ocean without krishna consciousness boat without taking the help of krishna consciousness boat okay that's what told in the 5.14 that krishna consciousness is a boat using which you can cross this material ocean so lord krishna is explaining to arjuna that living entity does not create activities nor induces people to act nor creates fruits of action you are not doing a living entity you are not doing anything this is all created done performed by material nature so that is 5.14 5.15 न दत्ते कशचित पापम न चैव सुकृतम विभु अज्ञाने न वृतम ज्ञानम तेन मुह्यन्ति जन्तवः नॉर डज द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड अज्यूम एनी वन सिनफुल और पायस एक्टिविटीज एम्बॉडीड बीइंग्स हाउ एवर आर बिवेल्डर्ड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द इग्नोरेंस which covers their real knowledge okay so ignorance has covered their knowledge like cloud covers the sun okay Look. when in the rainy season cloud covers the sun we see we think that sun sun disappears no sun is there whatever a little light you are getting that is because of sun only so this is our vision this is our thinking that when cloud covers sun we think that sun is disappeared no so cloud is the form of ignorance because of this ignorance we are not able to see krishna we are attached to this material fruits of action and this material fruits of action plays a role of ignorance because of this we are attached to ignorance we are in the ignorance 
because of which we are not able to understand Krishna. Okay, so one in knowledge sees material nature as being under Lord's control. So when you have knowledge, knowledge means what? You have knowledge of Lord Krishna. You have knowledge of supreme personality of Godhead. That is called real knowledge. You have the knowledge of absolute truth. That is called as real knowledge. Thus the Lord as the ultimate performer and the cause of all actions. So if you are in Krishna consciousness, that Krishna consciousness, that knowledge, because you have knowledge, so Lord Krishna will take care of everything. Okay, so material nature is under, if you are in knowledge, material nature is under the control of Lord Krishna. If you don't have knowledge, then ignorance will destroy you. Because of this, ignorance will play a role of darkness. Because of this darkness, you cannot see Lord Krishna. If you have knowledge, this knowledge plays a role of light. In light, we can see everything. But if there is no light, we cannot see. Everything will be invisible. Okay? And thus, the Lord as the ultimate performer and the cause of all actions. So, if you have knowledge, so that knowledge is Krishna. That knowledge is Krishna. Wherever Krishna is there, material nature will not touch you. Because material nature is under the control of Lord Krishna. So, we can say the Lord is the ultimate performer and the cause of all actions. Supreme Lord Krishna is the ultimate performer and the cause of all actions. Krishna is doing everything. Krishna is doing everything. So whatever pious activities, whatever sinful activities you are doing, based on that you are rewarded and you are penalized. Okay. So soul, soul is a jivatma. Soul is Jivatma. So it is a Anu. And Lord Krishna is Vibhu. So soul is Anu and super soul is Vibhu. Okay. So soul, Anu is like atomic. Prone to ignorance because of limited power. Although soul is full of knowledge and bliss. So soul is full of knowledge and bliss. But prone. There is a possibility you can get attached to ignorance because you have limited power. As a part of the Supreme Lord, he has the capacity to desire by his free will. As a part of the Supreme Lord. Why? Soul is a part of Super Soul. So whatever qualities are there in Super Soul is also there in Soul. But it is in, in minute quantity. So as part of the Supreme Lord, he has the capacity to desire by his free will. The soul has got a free will. Like there is one analogy, on one branch, there are two birds are sitting. One bird is enjoying, eating, everything. And another bird is just watching keeping a watch on that particular bird, what he or she is doing. Okay, So that the bird which is watching is Lord Krishna, is super soul. And the bird which is enjoying with the fruits of action is a form of soul. So soul and super soul are sitting on the same branch of a tree. So in our heart, soul resides and super soul also resides. So soul is full of knowledge and bliss, but it is prone to get attached to ignorance. So as a part of the Supreme Lord, he has the capacity to desire by his free will. So Krishna can do anything. Likewise, soul has also got free will. Krishna is independent, super soul is independent and our soul is also part of that. So we have got that quality of free will, 
इंडिपेंडेंसी तो वट वी आर डूइंग वी आर मिस यूजिंग आवर इंडिपेंडेंसी वी आर नॉट गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस दैट इज द ग्रेटेस्ट मिस्टेक वी आर यूजिंग वी आर मिस यूजिंग आवर फ्री विल सो लॉर्ड कृष्णा हैज गिवेन अस फ्री विल सो वी शुड यूज दिस फ्री विल इन द कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस ओनली and this krishna consciousness can be followed by using devotional service by serving devotees by serving deities <coughs> by becoming dasa anudas servant of servant of servant of servant of krishna dasa anudas daso ke das okay <coughs> so desire is a subtle form of conditioning for the living entity having desire is not bad but desiring material things is bad if you desire for krishna if you work for krishna your desire belongs to the desire, desire of krishna then it is okay then it is very good <coughs> why because krishna is the supreme master krishna is the supreme instructor <coughs> and we are the follower that's what lord krishna <coughs> is telling arjuna oh arjuna whatever i am telling you just follow that blindly you are the instrument you are nimitta matram you just perform whatever i am doing you don't think you, do, you don't give a second thought to that so similarly lord krishna is a supreme instructor he is a supreme master whatever he is telling we have to just follow okay we don't have to think on that uh, so we have to work for fulfilling the desire of krishna we don't have to work for fulfilling our desire then it becomes contaminated okay so living entity desire has to be put into a certain condition of life hence such hence stuck in cycle of actions and reaction so if you are attached you try to perform to fulfill your desire or your own desire so that is the greatest mistake that is the great mistake okay so because of this uh, fulfilling your own desire you get stuck into the material world okay you will perform something you will desire something you will perform something you will get some result you will enjoy again finishes again you desire again you likewise so this is a cycle this is a cycle of ignorance this cycle happens because of ignorance okay so in ignorance claims that the lord is responsible for his conditional existence okay so when we are happy we think that it is my hard work i have done so and so things that's why i am enjoying that's why i have got so much money wealth so i will enjoy when we are in problem we get stuck somewhere there is difficulty there is a loss there is a great loss then we remember lord krishna and we say the oh, lord krishna has given me this problem he has created he is responsible for my this great loss this is the thinking those who are in ignorance those who are in krishna consciousness for them there is no duality whether there is happiness or there is sadness there is sorrowness there is profit there is loss in all condition they are happy so chant hare krishna mahamantra and be happy hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare so this is the soul now what is super soul super soul is parmatma and soul is jivatma so atma and parmatma jivatma and super soul okay so vibhu super soul is a vibhu 
Paramatma is Vibhu, he is big, unlimited. There is no Adi. Vibhu is omniscient, full of all six opulences. He possesses all six opulences. He is always satisfied in himself, unrestrained by sinful or pious activities. So Lord Krishna is full of all six opulences. He is independent of from this material world, whether happens, whether a living entity performs pious activities or performs sinful activities. He keeps himself aloof from that. He is undisturbed. He does not create a particular situation for any living entity. Living entity get all these problems because of his own activity, because of his own desire. If you desire to fulfill material activities, so what is the result? You are the only responsible. Why Lord is responsible? Lord has given you free will. Okay, and you are using this mis misusing this free will because of that you are getting so and so problem. So this should be the understanding. Once you understand this, then automatically you will proceed towards Krishna consciousness. So Lord is Vibhu and soul is Jivatma is Anu, atomic. So Paramatma is witness and permitter. I told you example of there are there is one branch on one branch there are two birds are sitting. So one is in the form of super soul and another is the in the form of soul. Paramatma and Jivatma. So desires of the living entities are fulfilled only by Lord. He fulfills the desires as one deserves. Man proposes, God disposes. So when you desire and your desire is fulfilled, who is the full, who has fulfilled this your desire? Only Lord Krishna is giving you everything. You ask for money, Lord Krishna give you lot of money, now enjoy. So what should be our duty? Lord Krishna will fulfill your desire, whatever you desire. So, Lord and when you are asking for material things, Lord Krishna will give you immediately. When you are asking for devotion, when you are asking for to association of devotees, it may take some time. But when you are asking for material things, you will get immediately. So this is the mercy of Lord Krishna. That, that, if you want to become a devotee, it will take time. Mercy of Lord will take some time. Okay. So, this is the Paramatma is a witness and permitter. So, Paramatma is in the form of witness. He is witnessing everything. Analogy of flower, Lord has the constant companion of soul. Understand desires of soul as one can smell the fragrance of a flower by being near to it. So if you want to smell a flower, the fragrance of the flower, what you will do? You will go near to the flower. Similarly, super soul, Lord Krishna is in the form of super soul, near to soul. Because soul and super soul both are residing in the heart. They are sitting on the same branch. We call it as they are sitting on the same branch. Okay, so that's what Lord Krishna is in the form of super soul. He is a witness and permitter of the soul. So soul and super soul both are friend. Both are sitting on the same branch of a tree. Both are residing in the same heart. But super soul is a witness and permitter and soul is a enjoyer. Soul desires, super soul fulfills. Okay, so living entities are man proposes, God disposes. Man proposes, God disposes. So Lord is neutral to everyone. 
लॉर्ड इज न्यूट्रल टू एवरी वन गिवन इन कौश कौशिक उपनिषद एंड वेदांत सूत्र ही डज नॉट इंटरफियर विद द डिजायर्स ऑफ माइन्यूट इंडिपेंडेंट लिविंग एंटिटीज सोल डिजायर्स सुपर सोल फुल krishna never interferes in individual desires so he has given you free will so please all of you use your free will in the service of lord krishna whatever money you earn you donate some amount in the divine cause donate to temple so that brahmanas can be fed it can be spent on the service of deities it can be spent in feeding brahmanas in the betterment of devotees okay so this is our duty as a part of this material world and so this is also a divine activity so if you are performing donation you are serving deities you are serving temple you are donating for the construction of temple these are the divine activity these are the, so this is a this happens because of good activities or this is counted in the pious activities so some or the other day you will be attracted to lord krishna if you serve krishna lord krishna will make you such a arrangement that you will be near to krishna you will be near to devotees you will be near to temple that is the mercy of super soul lord krishna <coughs> when the living entity is bewildered the lord allows him to fulfill those desires but lord is never responsible for the particular situation created okay so man proposes god disposes when the living entity desires krishna the lord takes special care and encourage one to desire in such a way that one can attain him and be eternally happy dadami buddhi yogam tam if you do pious activities dadami buddhi yogam tam krishna will make you such a nice arrangement that you will be near to krishna you will be getting you will be proceeding towards krishna consciousness okay so this is given in 4.5.15 5.16 so karma yoga action in krishna consciousness verse number 16 so knowing the relations between super soul soul material nature allows one to be detached from all fruits so if you have knowledge knowledge means knowledge about absolute truth knowledge about lord krishna and if you have knowledge then you can be detached from the fruits of action so knowing means what knowledge of super soul knowledge of soul knowledge of material nature if you know all these three it means you have knowledge if you have knowledge sinful activities will not touch you you will be walking in krishna consciousness okay 5.16 दत्ते कश्यचित पापम ना चुकृत विभु अज्ञानवृत ज्ञान तेन मुयती जंत ज्ञान तो तदज्ञानम येषाशित आत्मन तदिवज ज्ञान प्रकाशयति तत्पर वेन हाउ एवर वन इज एलाइट विद द नॉलेज by which the science is destroyed then his knowledge reveals everything as the sun lights up everything in the daytime so once you have knowledge of these three things soul super soul and material nature you start working towards krishna consciousness so it is the day time like when sun comes you can see everything in the day time but when sun goes sun sets in the west in the evening time we cannot see we cannot see there is a darkness we cannot see so when you are in ignorance it is darkness and when you are in knowledge 
it is the sunlight it works like a sunlight so <coughs> living a living activity living entity actually falls into the last snare of nescience to think oneself as god if you start thinking that you are a god i am a god that is the last snare of nescience okay reputation if a living entity is god then how can be he if he become bewildered by nescience if so then nescience or saturn is greater than god god never bewilders if you are bewildered you are not a god you are dog okay so if you think if soul thinks oneself as god then he is not god he is a dog two categories of bewilderment to think oneself as god to identify oneself with matter this is my house this is my wife this is my children this is my property this is my money this is the attachment with matter this happens because of attachment with matter transcendental knowledge in krishna consciousness removes all bewilderment so if you have knowledge about krishna that knowledge is known as transcendental knowledge so if you have transcendental knowledge that transcendental knowledge will remove you re- all the bewilderment so glory of transcendental knowledge given in bhagavad gita 4.36 to 38 so what is that perfect knowledge to know one self different from the body i am not this body i am soul okay to know that one can never become god and thus the soul is eternally different from super soul given in bhagavad gita 2.12 so soul and super soul are different soul is the minute quantity of super soul super soul is a whole and so soul is the part of that whole a very minute quantity in very very minute in quality wise they are same super soul and soul but in quantity wise soul is minute soul is anu and super soul is vibhu so how is the perfect knowledge achieved seek out a bona fide spiritual master gyanena sattva darsina so though they are all self realized soul spiritual masters are self realized realized soul gyanena tattva darsana they have seen the truth okay so the one who has seen the truth they are actually liberated they are actually spiritual master so spiritual master can liberate you spiritual master can share with you right knowledge no one else can share with you what is the what is the knowledge mayavadi gurus are so many there in the market in this material world there are so many mayavadi gurus they say i am a spiritual master become my uh, follower and they are teaching also mayavadi knowledge okay so you have to take care while choosing the spiritual master So seek out a bona fide spiritual master and learn Krishna consciousness under him. Serve devotees, serve spiritual master, inquire from them. Whatever doubt you have, inquire from them. Work with them. Once you start working with them, automatically your activities will be purified. Because in we have so many. we have done so many impious activities we have done we have performed every moment sinful activities how can we have the transcendental knowledge transcendental knowledge can be only achieved under the bona fide spiritual master so perfect knowledge is achieved when one surrenders unto krishna as sun lights up everything in day time that is given in 7.19 बहुना जन्म नामते 
ज्ञानवान माम प्रपद्यते वासुदेव सर्वम इति स महात्मा सुदुर्लभ सो आफ्टर मेनी बर्थ एंड डेथ ही हु इज एक्चुअली नॉलेज सरेंडर्स अन टू मी नोइंग वन नोइंग मी टू बी द काज ऑफ ऑल काजेस एंड ऑल दैट इज सच अ ग्रेट सोल इज वेरी रेयर ओके सो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड सच अ ग्रेट सोल स महात्मा स दुर्लभ बहु नाम जन्म नाम अंत आफ्टर मेनी मेनी बर्थ एंड डेथ ज्ञान वान माम प्रपद्यते इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट आफ्टर मेनी मेनी बर्थ यू गेट नॉलेज अबाउट मी वासुदेव सर्व इति दैट वासुदेव इज एवरीथिंग वासुदेव इज द ओनली ओनर ही इज द सुप्रीम ओनर He is the supreme proprietor. He is the owner of material world. He is the owner of spiritual world. Vasudeva sarvam iti sa mahatma sudurlabha. And that position only comes when you have the transcendental knowledge. And this transcendental knowledge itself comes after many many birth and deaths. बहु नाम जन्म नाम अंत ज्ञान वान माम प्रपद्यते वासुदेव सर्वम इति स महात्मा सुदुर्लभ so how is the perfect knowledge achieved by working serving the spiritual master and perfect knowledge can only be achieved when you surrender unto krishna so who is a perfect representation of god one who never claims that he is god if he, if one says i am god he is not a god he is a dog and one who never says that i am god he is actually a spiritual master although he is paid all respect ordinarily paid to god because he has knowledge of god the one who has knowledge of god get the respect in the material world as god but he never thinks that i am god if he thinks that i am god he is a dog Prabhupada used to say that one if one if says that I am God, consider him as a god, a dog. Okay. So the servant of Supreme Lord Krishna are also treated as God, but he never thinks him as God. That is the transcendental knowledge. so what is the relationship between soul super soul and modes of material nature soul desires lord does not interfere lord does not interfere in the desiring of soul lord at super soul sanctions those desires that the soul desires man proposes god disposes you desire god will fulfill people go to the temple to the demi god they ask for they pray for some desire okay and it is fulfilled so demi gods demi gods never fulfills that desire it is the supreme lord krishna only who is fulfilling desire why because all the demi gods are top class vaishnavas they give all credit to supreme lord krishna the one who praises lord krishna every moment they are treated as demigod so devotees give credit to supreme lord and supreme lord give credit to devotees okay so soul desires super soul fulfills so lord is the director of the choreography who causes activities to be done through material nature so actual director is supreme lord krishna and material nature is work like assistant in some other shlokas we have seen that material nature is the doer of the activities which belongs to three modes of material nature but actually director is krishna so krishna is directing to material nature material nature is directing to us 
okay so whole and soul is lord krishna modes of material nature carry out actions to fulfill those desires body and actions are choreographed by the modes establishes living entity is not the only doer who is responsible super soul not responsible for all actions because all initiated by desires of the living entity so you think lord krishna fulfills it and whatever result you get if you are attached you will suffer if you if you get profit you will enjoy so enjoying is also one kind of suffering in this material world no one can enjoy in this material world because because everything is given by lord krishna and you are not offering it to krishna you are not remembering it to krishna you think that it belongs to you i am the enjoyer that is the wrong thinking krishna gives you everything you have to offer it to first krishna you have to give all the credit to krishna the benefits of understanding the position of the supreme it leads to a state of perfect knowledge if you give credit to krishna it means you have the knowledge of absolute truth and that is the real knowledge super soul is the ultimate controller of the activity but not the initiator and modes of nature are the agents of the lord the so lord is not the initiator material mode is under the works under the control of lord krishna the so living entity is responsible for his own good and bad actions and is thus responsible for consequences so living entity is responsible for his all activities okay that is the conclusion of this particular so next time we'll see 5.17 onwards okay. so we'll stop over here if you have any question you can ask no question hari krishna so we'll stop over here shila prabhu pad ki jai shrimad bhagavad gita ki jai वांछा कल्पतरु भेश कृपा सिंधु एवं पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नमः हरे कृष्णा